tubular system of nephron, complementing the work of glomerulus. Once blood enters a nephron, it first goes through a filtering phase in the glomerulus. Next, it enters the tubular system, comprising the proximal convoluted tube, the loop of Henel, the distal convoluted tube, and the collecting duct. Each segment has specific roles in absorbing and secreting substances, impacting what is excreted as urine and what gets reabsorbed into the bloodstream. After filtration in the glomerulus, the resulting filtrate enters the proximal convoluted tube, PCT. PCT reabsorbs a significant number of substances from the filtrate back into the bloodstream. This includes water, glucose, amino acids, and essential ions. It also brings certain substances from the blood into the filtrate. This includes waste products like urea and creatinine, as well as excess ions and drugs. In the proximal convoluted tube, the term proximal refers to its location, which is near glomerulus. The filtrate fluid then moves to the loop of Henel, crucial for concentrating urine. This U-shaped part uses countercurrent exchange to absorb water efficiently while retaining essential solutes, a vital process for water conservation. It mainly reabsorbs water in its descending limb and sodium and chloride in its ascending limb. Next, the fluid reaches the distal convoluted tube, DCT. Here, further sodium absorption occurs, and calcium reabsorption is regulated. Hormones like aldosterone and parathyroid hormone play significant roles here. Parathyroid hormone, in particular, influences calcium and phosphate balance in the body by acting on this segment. In the distal convoluted tube, the term distal refers to its location which is distant from glomerulus. In the collecting duct, the final concentration of urine is determined. It responds to antidiuretic hormone, ADH, by adjusting water reabsorption according to the body's hydration needs. The collecting duct also plays a role in the reabsorption of sodium and the secretion of potassium and hydrogen ions, which are crucial for maintaining the body's electrolyte balance. The regulation of sodium and water reabsorption here directly impacts blood pressure, as changes in fluid volume can raise or lower blood pressure.